Last Friday morning was like most for members of the Keller football team. It included a trip to Florence Elementary, where the varsity Indians helped first graders with their reading. Wow. You're good. Among the visitors to Mrs. Farmer's room each week is senior Lyndon LaPlante. I've known Lyndon since he was probably four years old. He went to Florence in the pre-K program here, and then I was fortunate to be his first grade teacher. Lyndon has Down syndrome, but it's never held him back. Even from little bitty, because he had an older brother and sister, he had a will about him that anything they could do, he could do, which was a great challenge. And so he's always done way more than people led us to believe he would be able to do. Lyndon is the vocal leader of the team at pep rallies and on the sidelines. His football career began as a manager when he was a freshman, but the past two seasons, he suited up on varsity. He's always got a smile on his face. He's always, he's always everywhere. And he's like, he, loves, he loves to give us motivational speeches. And I, as far as I know, everybody in the locker room loves, loves to hear it and loves to be around him. This is a great opportunity for me to play on this team. But being on the sidelines wasn't enough, not for Lyndon and not for his coach. I always knew back after seeing him work that freshman year, I always thought, we're going to get him in the game. Somehow, some way. Because contact is risky for someone with Down syndrome, the only way Lyndon could play would be with the cooperation of the opposing team. The Richland Rebels agreed to be that team, and Coach Atkinson called the play. Left mirror, 39 wide. And take your hand off Lyndon, run really hard, then run over to me. And give me the ball, and I'll give you a hug, and then we'll have a good old time. I thought, well, if we're going to do this, let's let the boy have a touchdown, you know, and it's something to remember. And I know Kevin probably felt awkward asking any more than what he's already asking. The plan was for Linden to get the ball on Keller's first offensive play of the fourth quarter, and it was a good plan, but no one could have planned it like this. After a Richland punt, that one play began at the one yard line. It's a 99 yarder right here. I want you to do it right here, okay? You know, for that ball to be pinned on the Two foot line was uh, yeah, kind of made me look upward a little bit. There's some football angel is trying to reward Lyndon with as much as he could give him because you couldn't have ran it any further. Let's go one! I teared up and then I realized that if I cried, I wasn't going to be able to see. When he took off with the ball, it was it was I started yelling for him just like I would any other player. And as he got closer, his face got bigger and bigger, and his, his smile got bigger. The ten, the five, the I, mean, I didn't realize how emotional that it could be. I wasn't just swelling up, I was boohooing. I've gotten calls from parents of children, little one-year-olds with Down syndrome, to say, you know, this gives them uh, hope for their child to think about, you know, things like this happening or being included. I would like Bruce on his awesome job. When I was a kid, I wanted like a big dream about it. I can help him to get that touchdown. I love you, buddy. All right, man. Ted Madden, Channel 8 Sports in Keller.